Hey guys, in this video, I'll go over how to use the whiteboard app on Aver CP Series IFP. Go ahead and launch the application from the toolbar, and you'll be greeted at this home screen of the whiteboard. Now, if you press on these three dots on the side, you can create new notebooks, which is similar to creating new folders in the classroom. You can name these folders after a subject or a lesson that you're working on. So I can name this one my shapes folder if I want to do a lesson on shapes. Now that I'm in this folder, I can go ahead and press on this plus button to create a new document or import a lesson into here. So if I want to import a PDF, I can go ahead and select so. I'll go ahead and import PDF. And from here I can go to my internal storage or my file manager and I can actually go to my Google Drive where I have a bunch of different PDFs such as my shapes lesson into here. So if I want to do my shapes lesson, I can select it and now it will import that PDF directly from my Google Drive into my now whiteboard. I can rename the lesson on the bottom here by tapping on here and I can view all the pages in my PDF by pressing on this page number button. And this will view all the different pages of my PDF. In this PDF, I'm free to actually annotate and scale by disabling multi-touch. And all the annotations I make on here are scaling with the PDF. Let's actually create a new note here. So I'll go back and press on the plus button to create a new note. And now I can actually choose any template I want by swiping right or I can just tap on the subject above. So there's many different subjects and templates that are available here. And I'm going to insert a grid lesson and I can name this lesson number one. So here I'm able to annotate, it's a, I can enable multi-touch to actually have multiple collaborators right at the same time. In this tool, I have multiple different tools. When I press on the pen tool, I can go to the select tool to select different annotations to move them around. I can also do a group selection and select the group to move those annotations. And I can always edit these annotations by changing the color of them or by changing the thickness of them. So that's always going to be available. If I want to insert a new page, I can just press on this plus button here to go to another page. And if I want to use my line tool, I can go here, select the lines, and change my color to a black line, where I can then draw a grid. And now I can actually use my pencil tool to draw a graph. If I disable multi-touch, I'm able to now use two-point touch to pan and zoom out to have an even larger canvas. Additionally, you have the options to erase, to do a, a partial erase like this, or I could do a complete annotation erase that will erase the entire annotation like that. And I'm also able to add words as well. If I want to copy and paste, I go to my select tool, I can select on my annotation, and then press on this icon right here to copy it. I can then go to a new page, press on these three dots to paste it. And now I can copy and paste it like that. For additional page options, press and hold the page number button and now you can see where we can insert page, insert PDF, delete a page, and have other options. So if I want to insert page with a different background, I can go ahead and change that background to a different type of grid. And I can paste my annotation from before. Once I'm ready to save my work and export it, go ahead and tap on the three dots to go to export. Press share, 
and now press ES save to. And now if I go back a step, I can choose exactly what cloud storage drive I want to save my new document in, or I can save it onto a USB drive if I have that plugged in. So here I can choose my Dropbox and save my lesson number one to my Dropbox. To check to make sure it's there, we can go into our file manager, go to cloud, Dropbox, and see that our lesson one is there.